All right, this one's going to be a little different than normal because it's going to be a little bit more of a serious side of Joe. Now, I know the sales training and all that stuff is, is there. This is more of uh, it's a one-way conversation, but I wanted to talk about a couple subjects that uh, has been popping up lately, and I've been uh, dealing with people a lot that are feeling picked on, feeling beat up, feeling um, that they can't... They can't do things without being, you know, punished in some way. And so um, one of the things, especially like in, when we deal with people, right, we have to be conscious of what it is they're going through. But I know a lot of people with, you know, cyberbullying and things like that. My a, a buddy of mine, uh, Dr. Bill Janishak, he and I started talking and said, you know, what, we need to come up with something on how to teach people to step aside from what people are saying. Okay, and so this is what I want to tell you. There's cyberbullying. Yeah, it that sucks. And I know that if somebody's out going to be talking trash on on you and putting it out to everybody, yeah, that's going to be absolutely horrible, and you're going to have to deal with that. But one of the things I want to do is step aside from that and say, everybody's walking around with their feelings hurt a little too much. And so when I when I realized what it was that hurt my feelings when somebody said something. Okay, so I've always been a bigger guy. I mean, I'm 6'3", 250 pounds. So I chose not to play football. So wow, now now what do I do? But when you stop and realize that somebody calling you a name, somebody calling you something that somehow hurts you. Uh, here's an example. So if I'm sitting here right now to you and I look at you and I go, hey, you know what really bugs me about you is your tail. I mean, it's so distracting that tail flopping back and forth behind you and it really, really bothers me and, and I think you need to put it away. So I ask you, does that hurt you? Does that hurt your feelings? Okay, because if it does, there's got to be some issue right there with you about this because it shouldn't hurt you. It shouldn't hurt you that I said your tail bothers me because why? You don't have a tail. And since you don't have a tail because we've all evolved, or unless you're letting your cat or your dog watch this video, right? There's no reason for you to be offended by something that is not absolutely 100% true. And I'll tell you where the pain comes from, okay? And the pain comes from the fact that you have said these same words to yourself, okay? I, I was brought up with a whole bunch of people that told me, hey, if you talk to anybody else the way you talk to yourself in your head, you wouldn't be friends with them, right? And if you heard somebody talking to themselves the way that you do, and they were talking to themselves that way, you would step in and tell them to stop. You'd say, stop talking to your, don't talk to my friend that way, right? Don't talk to this person that way because we are really, really, really mean and self-centered on ourselves and in the negative way. And so there has to be a flip. There has to be something else. But for me, right, if somebody came up and said, oh yeah, you're a, you're a fat pig, if I have told myself before I'm a fat pig, then when they say that, it just adds to the fact that I've already said it. So they re-trigger in me the feelings of inadequacy or the feelings that I had that I wasn't enough or I wasn't in the shape I wanted to be in. And so when they did that, that's what hurt was because I had heard it before from myself. And when you realize that you have to stop putting yourself down and giving all of these things. And if you do it a lot, then a whole bunch of things that people say to you are going to hurt. And it's never going to get you out of a victim situation, right? Where you're always going to feel that someone's talking about you because it's something you've said. It's something that you've done. Okay. So that's what I want you to stop and say, let's, let's stop talking bad about ourselves and let's be grateful for the things that we are and the traits and the tendencies that we do have. Okay. There are people out there that are a lot more passionate than I am. I talked to a guy yesterday and the guy said, man, if I could only relay the, the, the teaching that you just gave with the passion that you gave it. And I'm like, wow, that has, I would never throw myself out there as somebody overly passionate to get something said. I'm much more logical based and I'm much more of facts, figures and what things what things mean, but to that person, they were like, "Wow, you are really really passionate about this subject." And I'm like, "I guess maybe I was." 
But at the same time, their level of what is great passion compared to what is really great passion on my scale could be different. And so I didn't look at it and say it's a bad thing, right? I didn't say that because if somebody told you as a kid, right, most of our pain came from uh, parents. And I'm not saying parents are bad. What I'm saying is parents did the best they could at the age they had you. Um, but anything prior to the age of seven went right into your head and your unconscious, unfiltered, which is why kids um, believe you when you tell them about the tooth fairy um, when you tell them about Santa Claus, when you try to explain Easter with a bunny in a religious holiday, things like that. None of it makes sense. None of it's logical, but they buy in completely. And then somewhere around the ages of seven and eight is when all of a sudden that kid starts to become aware and conscious of the fact that things are going into their head and they start questioning even more. And that's when they come back and go, is there really a Santa Claus? Because my friend said this or my friend said that. Right. And as older siblings like myself, it's always great to crush the the younger one's image of what's there. I'm joking. OK, I know my brother and I had to put together so many toys on Christmas Eve uh, for all of our sisters and the foster sisters and things that we had in our house. But that's what you have to stop and look at. So for a number of years, I was talking crap about myself. So when other people talked about it, it only compounded it. And put it on me as, you know, three, four, five times what it, it should have been. So somebody who could have said something jokingly, all of a sudden, I am completely hurt because of that. Because they just reiterated what I said about myself. And too often, we're punishing those people for the, for the negative talk that we have. So I want you to understand... It's just stop talking crap about yourself is the first step to getting the respect because you're not respecting you. So it's difficult to expect other people to respect you. And if you're expecting them to respect you because you respect them, that's that's crazy. That's like locking yourself in a room with a lion, right? And saying, well, I have no intention of eating you. So you don't be a lion and don't come over and attack me and eat me. Right. It's always a horrible thing, a horrible situation when you expect other people to act the way you do. Your actions should be based off of you and how you feel as a person so that at any point you were to look back at the situation, you can say, I handled myself true, true to myself. And that way you don't have to feel bad about it. But I want you everybody to understand, I don't care how old you are if you're watching this video. You could be 50s, 60s, 70s. You can all go back and say you're 15, 16, 17. I, I don't, I, it doesn't matter when you look at this. I'm going to tell you right now, you're going through some shit. There's always shit going on. I will tell you, I've had so much crap go wrong. I've had so many people betray me. So many people say things that weren't true. And so many people go out, uh, out of their way to try to benefit themselves at my expense. But I still am out there helping people. I'm still looking for the ones that are grateful for whatever help I could give them. I'm still out looking for people to help me. Okay, and I'm hoping this video gives you some kind of help, but I want you to understand wherever you're at, whatever you're going through right here, right now. Okay, this was a, a thing I came up with the other day. So pardon me, I'm going to read it off to the side here. But every fucked up situation you've been forced to face in life, you have survived. Okay, your survival rate is 100 percent. Everything you went through, the just like now, the things you say, I, it can't get any worse, and I don't know how I'm going to get through this. You've been through it before, and you've been through it before. So what makes you think the shit you're going through right now right, is going to be any different? You're going to come out of it at the end. You're going to be on the other side. Look at all of the celebrities that had scandals hit, and then boom, they're, they're out of the eye for a little bit, but they come back. They come back. Why? Because we survived. We made it through that. OK, and if your life isn't projected all over social media uh, day in and day out, then you have a little bit of a break. But if it's if it's drama that you're you're stuck in, remember, there's another side to it. That's you after the drama. And you just got to see yourself past it because you've you've already survived every single piece of drama that has come into your life right now. Up to this point, you're at 100 percent success rate. So don't expect it to change. Just understand you're a good person. Say good things about you, okay? Treat yourself with the respect you want other people to treat you with. 
And that's how it's going to make a difference to them on what they say to you or what they do to you. And remember, it's very true when you say the way somebody treats you is a reflection of them, not of you. Okay, I've had people go off on me, cuss, yell, scream. I've had customers lose their shit on me. Okay, but I don't lose mine. My goal is to what? Get them back on my side, come back on the other side. Everybody goes, I don't even understand what you do. I worked at a place where I watched somebody throw a chair at a customer. Okay, and I'm like, I, I don't even understand that because no matter what had happened, there was no justification for words triggering you that way. And so I want you to understand, don't give words the power. If, if words have power over you, then you walk around, okay? So you walk around as if you're a bruise, okay? And what happens if you bruise yourself? So if somebody walks up, punches you in the arm one day and punches you really hard, okay? And you end up with a bruise. I can walk up and go, hey, what's up? Just barely touch you, poke you. Oh, I poke you in the arm. And you're like, ow, ow, that hurts. Why? Because it's bruised. It's already tender. It's already a sore spot. Okay? So stop walking around like a human bruise looking for the next person to bump into you to, to make the bruise even worse. The answer is, is that we got to get, we got to develop some mental toughness. We got to get to the point where someone says, no, we can still go past it. And we know we're talking about in sales, right? But if you stop and look and say, hey, I want to be this when I grow up, then go be that. Okay, go be that. Don't listen to other people say you can't, right? I tell my kids all the time, go do whatever makes you happy. Please go do whatever makes you happy. I'm in complete agreement with Gary V. A kid does not have to go to college to become happy. College teaches you more to, to go and sit in an environment like a job. And I want you to go out and be who you want to be. If you want to design clothes, then start figuring out how to design clothes. Go to college to learn how to be in design, to do it right so that you don't have to, you don't have to stutter. You don't have to actually do all these little trip fall and go into a pothole for all that stuff. Okay? So that's what I want you to understand. I, want, I just want you to, to break down and understand this, that we've all been through it. We've all gone through it. There are people that are successful today after going through the same crap you're going through right now. And there are people that are absolutely destroyed today by going through the same thing. So it's going to be your mental toughness and you on how you get through things. Okay, I, I was watching West Wing uh, the other day. My wife was watching West Wing and I was listening. And the guy said, hey, guy walking down the street, boom, falls into a giant hole. It's like 10 feet deep, right? He can't see anywhere around him. He can just see up. He doesn't know where he's at, why, why he's in a hole or anything. He starts yelling to people up above, hey, help me, help me, help me. A doctor comes by and he looks at the doctor and he says, hey, doc, can you help me? The doctor goes, well, you're in a hole. Um, I don't really know how to get in the hole or get you out of it, but here, here's a prescription that'll help you. And he throws a prescription down in the hole, right? And he's like, what is this going to do for me, right? He turns around, somebody else comes down and says, hey, you know what? Um, the guy walks by and he's a telephone salesman. He goes, hey, hey, can you help me? Can you, can you help me? I'm down the hole. And the guy goes, well, all I know is, look, here's my card. When you get out, here, you, I'll, I'll sell you a cell phone so that'll never happen to you again. And drops down his card. And the person's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? And then all of a sudden, he sees his friend. He goes, hey, man, can you help me? Can you help me? And his friend jumps in the hole with him. And he's standing down on the bottom of the hole with him. He goes, what are you doing? Now we're both here. I can't get up. I can't get out of it. I can't do it. And the friend says, look, the reason I'm here is because I've been in this hole before and I know how to get out. So that's why I'm here with you, to help you get out. So remember, you're at a 100% success rate. If you're a betting person, I would bet on you getting through this too. Okay? Go out. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. Okay? And let's brighten up our days a little bit. Stop talking trash to yourself. I appreciate you. Be good.